Today we will demonstrate how we issue queries against multiple semantic web documents in ecology. We'll start by giving background on the Spire project, then we'll look at two Spire prototypes, Elvis, a suite of tools for food web prediction, and Swoogle, our semantic web search engine. We've developed Ethan for expressing evolutionary trees and natural history information, so finally we can show how these documents can be queried. SPIRE, which stands for Semantic Prototypes and Research Ecoinformatics, involves UMBC under P.I. Tim Finan, Jim Quinn's group at UC Davis, Neo Martinez's group at the Rocky Mountain Biological Lab, Jim Hendler's MindSwap Lab, and the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, where the project lead is John Schneezy. Our goal is to build semantic web prototypes with applications to invasive species science. The National Biological Information Infrastructure serves as a testbed and integrating focus for our efforts. Elvis is motivated by the belief that food web structure plays a role in the success or failure of potential species invasions. Because very few ecosystems have been the subject of empirical food web studies, response teams are typically unable to get quick answers to questions like, what are likely prey and predator species of an invader in a new environment? The web constructor can be used by going to the Spire website. Our reasoning can go a number of steps up and down an evolutionary hierarchy, looking for evidence that a pair of organisms might eat each other. We use a database of feeding relationships of over 4,000 different organisms in about 300 studies. The default is to use all of the studies, but I can choose which studies to use if I want to include only a certain habitat or I could exclude particular studies whose data I think is untrustworthy. There are several ways to submit the organism names for which I want a food web. Typing in with text, submitting an XML data file, or choosing a food web study for which I want to reconstruct the feeding links using the rest of the database. I've typed in a couple of scientific names, Great Blue Herons and the Carp family. These results indicate that there is positive evidence that Ardea herodias eats fish in this family. There's evidence that carps don't eat each other, because in the data sets where they occur they do not eat each other, nor that herons eat each other. Finally, there is no evidence that carp eat herons in these data sets. Now I want to actually see the evidence. The system found a record of herons eating common carps, or Cyprinus cyprio, which is two taxonomic steps below Cyprinidae in the hierarchy. It also found they eat goldfish and minnows. To support these algorithms, we are developing a number of ontologies. For example, we have represented all of our food web data and the results of our predictions in fairly simple OWL documents. We are also developing Ethan, the evolutionary trees and natural history ontology. Our prediction algorithms will eventually use not just previously known food web links, and known evolutionary relationships, but also life history and other characteristics of organisms and their relatives. Our approach is to take advantage of existing resources, setting up regular transformations of more traditional online databases to semantic web representations. So Ethan aims to expose structured data from Animal Diversity Web, a large popular online encyclopedia, to intelligent agents in the form of OWL ontologies. There are many similar online databases with basic information about organisms that we expect to be largely compatible with our ontology framework. On the Spire website is a utility for extracting an OWL document of the evolutionary hierarchy given a scientific name. Animal Diversity Web and Spire get their taxonomic information from ITIS and several other sources. Content stored in MySQL databases is currently published as HTML ta taxon accounts. We've added additional processes that publish the keyword ontology that Animal Diversity Web uses, 
which, combined with the actual data instances and the taxonomic information, result in an OWL version of the Animal Diversity Web account. These pages are then available for semantic queries. We're still prototyping these, but can show a quick demonstration of the direction we are headed. Swoogle is Google for the semantic web. It allows both human users and software agents to find both ontologies and instance data. For example, someone needing to mark up a collection of data sets can use Swoogle to find ontologies that define appropriate terms. Alternately, a user can look for all instance data that makes use of a specified ontology. We've modified the Google PageRank algorithm to take into account the richer linking structure of the semantic web, and Swoogle returns results ranked accordingly. From the returned results, the user can select documents to be loaded into the triple shop, a sort of shopping basket which stores RDF triples. Although we've removed, for the time being, the triple shop from the current version of Swoogle, we've created a standalone version of triple shop, and that's what we'll demo today. For example, if I bring together a collection of OWL documents, I can construct a Sparkle query to ask a question like, what do herons eat? On the left are ontology classes that fall under the family Ardeidae, the family that includes herons. On the right are a wide variety of creatures ranging from goldfish to American toads. A second query may be more specific. What kind of fish do herons eat? Where the herons are Ardeidae and the fish are Actinopterygii. The answers again include a couple of kinds of herons as predators and the prey you may recognize as carps and minnows. To be even more specific, we can ask what kinds of pond living or marsh living fish do herons eat? Here we've pulled out the specific species that Animal Diversity Web knows are found in these habitats. We've used this example where the answers are obvious to most biologists and you wouldn't eat a fancy semantic web solution. However, imagine drawing documents from all over the web with these ontology terms into a triple shop and having the data integration happen seamlessly to answer questions about organisms that are more obscure and potentially more dangerous as invasive species. For more information, please go to our website, spire.umbc.edu.